and I was going back and forth about whether the cream or the white. I'm just going to stick with the white. And this is it on clearance? No. I didn't pay for anything today? You bought the, the cabinet liners at Walmart. And the tape measure. Thank you. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So today we are doing some more apartment shopping. Mostly like not really decorations but just like apartment essentials that I need because when I moved out of my apartment y'all I pretty much got rid of everything. So we're going to be going to a bunch of stores today shopping. It's the weekend. I'm just glad that I'm not at work y'all. Like it's been a long week. It was a very long work week for me. So I'm just so happy that it's Saturday and yeah i thought i would take you guys along with me today to go shopping and run some errands i have a whole list of like a bunch of stuff that i need that i made on my notion some stuff i do have in my amazon cart right now but i'm like okay let me see what i can find in the store first and then if i can't find what i want then i will order it on amazon but i have so much stuff i need to get y'all like so many things like i need to get a new litter box for my cat bedding stuff for my apartment like just like random little stuff and like also like i said the essentials so yeah, it is 12 o'clock. I'm all dressed and ready to go. All right, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit really quick. Just disregard this whole mess in my room. Like my room is just freaking crazy. Like when I'm working all week, I cannot keep my room clean. Um, but I'm just wearing this little um, black crop tank top from Marshalls. These shorts I got from Zara. And then I'm wearing my Dior little dad sandals. I think they're called the Dior Axe Sandal. I don't know. And then I'm just carrying my black Telfar. But yeah, we're about to head out, probably get some lunch. I also have to stop at the post office because I've been selling a bunch of stuff online. Like um, in my other, one of my other vlogs, I mentioned that I'm like selling like some of my old bags and my Squishmallows and stuff. So I've been selling a lot of those online. So I have to stop at the post office and I have to stop at the UPS store. There's a lot of errands to run today. And I also had two other Amazon items that I ordered for my apartment come in. So I will show you guys those when we get back. But for now, we're going to head out. So let's get this day started. All right, so I made it to Target. I'm here with my mom and my brother, but they're in the mall right now going to a few different stores. I don't know exactly what I want to get from here, but I think I'm going to get like the shower and bathroom stuff. And then um, I want to look for like the more kitchen, living room stuff at Home Goods and TJ Maxx. So the one thing I'm looking for for the bathroom is like a corner shelf. And I saw one on Amazon, but y'all, this Target is so busy today. It's like the worst day to be out shopping and vlogging like it's too much like i hate when the stores are so freaking busy but i only have the weekend off so i'm gonna have to get what i can today anyways i was talking about the bathroom shelf in the corner they have some here but they're all like black and like metal and i don't want that i want one like white and like a natural wooden color because like you know i like light colors i like the white furniture and stuff let me tilt there we go First, I'm going to look for a shower curtain. I need the curtain, the liner, and the hooks. So, I think they have these like double-sided hooks. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. They're like these double-sided hooks. So you put the liner on one side and then the curtain on the other side so you don't have to like worry about taking them both off when you want to wash the curtain. I'm also going for like more of a neutral color theme in my bathroom. Like before, it was all pink. like pink curtain, pink rugs and everything. So I'm going for a little bit of a more neutral um, theme in the bathroom. So I'm gonna try to find like a neutral color curtain. Like this one's very interesting. It's like a crochet curtain. I might get this one. This one's really cute. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to this one for now. And I'll see if I can find a different one. All right, found the cheap little $3 liner because I feel like you have to throw these out every once in a while anyways. So, found that. There was only one left. I feel like a lot of people are shopping for their college dorms and apartments right now, so that's why I want to get in here and get everything before it's all gone. All right, what next? I don't really need new towels. I just need to wash all my towels because they've been sitting there forever. Um, oh, I was looking for a tray 
I'm gonna look for that at Home Goods. I'm also looking for rugs, specifically like circle rugs for my office and my little hallway area. So it says all the bathroom stuff is 20% off. I think all the bedding is 20% off too. So now it's like the perfect time to get everything. Y'all, I'm like really into this uh, Casa Luna brand at Target. Oh my God, this towel feels so nice. This little waffle bath towel. I've never seen a velvet shower curtain. Um, I found this little threshold bath rug that I like. It's kind of like a half circle with the little tassels on the end. So I think I'm definitely going to get that. I like this shower curtain, but why is it like velvety? I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm definitely not going to get this one. It's just like not a vibe. Alright, I really like this little velvet one. So we're going to get this and it matches the rug perfectly. I'm also looking for like some clear bathroom organizers. Like this might be a good one for like under the cabinet because I saw these two clear drawers. I'm definitely going to order those on Amazon. But I was looking for like a circular one like this. So I might get this one. I don't know, it's kind of small. Alright y'all, I just decided that I'm going to get the little Casa Luna pillows. And I was going back and forth about whether the cream or the white. I'm just going to stick with the white. Whatever. But I found two of them that are still like perfectly vacuum sealed. So I think I'm just going to get these. Are these the same thing? Yeah. They just need to be fluffed out, but I'm going to get these. When it comes to like the decorative pillows and stuff in my room, I'm definitely going to look at home goods because I feel like Target can be a little overpriced, but I do love some of the stuff that Target has. Like I had to get those that um, Castle Luna bed set, but I don't think I'm looking for much else in here. Um, yeah, there was a few things, kitchen stuff. I mostly want to get at Walmart, like the air fryer, the toaster and stuff, um, because I'm looking, if you guys know, the Drew Barrymore line at Walmart is so freaking cute, and they have this sage green, like, air fryer and everything, so I kind of wanted to go with, like, a sage green theme for my kitchen um, this time, so I want to go to Walmart to look for those. I love this little ottoman, but, like, where am I going to put it? And I feel like white fuzzy stuff like this always gets so dirty so i don't know if that's like the best idea have y'all seen these on tiktok it's like a bug trap but like you put the little sticky thing in the back and you plug it in and it has like a light that turns on and it catches all the bugs and y'all i've had such a like bad problem with like the little gnats from my plants so i think i'm gonna get this just in case like i have that problem again because i am not trying to deal with that but i've definitely seen this on tiktok and i heard that it works so i'm gonna try this little insect trap. So get your shrimp pans since you never eat them anyway. <laughs> so yeah, I was in there the rest of the night. What does that mean? So it was only a couple I hours. Alright, so right now we're in Ollie's. I came to look for like a really cheap rug. That's where I got like my other rugs when I first moved in, they usually have like pretty good options for like a decent price. Like these big rugs are only $44.99, so I'm gonna see what I can find in here. All right, y'all, I found this literally perfect rug. Like I said, I'm going for like a neutral color in my bedroom, and I found this little cream gray colored rug, and it's literally only $34.99. Like this would be $100 at Target. You're on the camera. <laughs> that was so random. Like, Alright, so yeah, we're in TJ Maxx right now. I ended up getting that little Van Cleef bracelet. And I also found this little anklet that matches. Isn't this so cute? Like, it literally matches this necklace so perfect. So, getting both of those. Um, but I found these. So, like, I already have, like, jars for, like, juice and stuff. But they have these little clear cartons. This would be so perfect for like my oat milk. Let me just store it in there. This is so cute. I've never seen this before. They have two of them. Do I need one or two? I think I'm just gonna get one and then use it for my oat milk. Because I don't know what it is. I just love to like take the things out of the package they're in and put them in their packages. Like look, this is like a little oil dispenser. I don't need this though. But I'm definitely looking for like all clear type of organization for the kitchen and stuff. So like they have like these sets of glass jars 
This one's only $7.99 and literally on Amazon, they're like $30. All right, so now we're at Walmart. I'm just looking for the Drew Bar Mommy, look at this. That is so cute. I haven't seen that in the store. So this is what I was looking for, the Drew Barrymore Beautiful um, Pots and Pans set. But I only see freaking white and black. I really wanted the sage green color, but this is so cute, but I don't need that. I'm also looking for the sage green toaster. Oh, they have a toaster, but it's white. Oh my god. See, this is what the toaster looked like. It's so cute. It has the B, all the little hardware is gold. But I want the green one. Why don't they have anything green in here? That is like literally, oh. Look at the toaster oven. This is so cute. Oh my god. Okay, I don't need that though. All right, so this is what the air fryer looks like. It's so nice, like the perfect size. Like I said, it has like the little gold V and the little gold handle. And the white is nice and all, but I wanted the sage green because my whole kitchen is gonna be sage green. So I'm gonna have to order everything online, which is annoying. All right, y'all, so it is 8 o'clock. We are officially back home. We did a ton of shopping. I don't remember the last store I showed you guys, but we also stopped in um, Burlington and Marshalls. And I got a few things from um, things from Marshalls, but Burlington was trash. That store is always a mess. It's literally, there's nothing good in there. I don't care. I'm, I'm tired of going in there. Um, so, yeah, we got home, brought all the stuff inside, and I also ordered a bunch of the kitchen stuff I was looking for on Walmart. So hopefully that'll come in like within the next week or so, but I'm not sure yet. Um, I'm also about to order a bunch of stuff on Amazon that I didn't find today. I got some of the things that I was looking for. What was I saying? Yeah, I still have a few things I want to order on Amazon. Like I really wanted to get Chuck a new cat tower for the apartment. And the ones at home goods were just ridiculous. Like I'm not spending more than like $100 on a cat tower. And this is one that I really like on Amazon and it's literally on sale right now for $30. So I'm definitely going to buy that and um just a few other little random things like for the kitchen and like mostly like pet stuff so i'm definitely going to order that stuff tonight but we brought everything inside i'll probably show you guys but we're about to head back out to go to the home goods by my house because we were in a different area going shopping so i want to go to the home goods by my house really quick to see what else i can find i just want to get everything done now so i can have it ready for next weekend and tomorrow i just want to focus on creating my content cleaning my room posting more stuff online to sell and just relaxing. So yes, we're gonna go to Home Goods before it closes at 9.30. And yeah, then we'll come back and I'll give you guys the full haul. I would do like a separate video of a haul, but like it really doesn't make sense. So I'm just gonna do the full haul in this video. There's a lot of stuff. And like I said, two more things came in from Amazon. So I'll show you guys those as well. All right, it's kind of dark in my house, but as you can see, this is all the stuff. I'm so glad I found the pillows in the plastic so that I don't have to worry about them getting dirty as I'm moving everything to the apartment. And I'm so happy with this rug that I found at Ollie's. It was so inexpensive and it literally is exactly what I was looking for for my room. So yeah, we will do the full haul once we go to one more store, one or two, we'll see. All right, we made it to Home Goods. It's nice and quiet in here. Earlier in the stores, it was so freaking loud. This stuff, this um, Home Goods always has a ton of stuff on clearance, so I'm gonna look and see what I can find. Oh, I really like this. I literally love this, but where would I put this? I could put this in my hallway. Oh my god, it's like busted. And this isn't on clearance? No. Oh my god, they also have a ton of these fake plants on clearance. Like, this is such a good price for like a high quality fake plant. Oh my god, look at this little side table. This is so freaking cute. It has like a little pet bed under it. Oh my god, if only ch Oh! Whoa. Look at that ottoman. And it's on clearance. This is so freaking cute. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about it. It's okay, but I don't know if it's exactly what I'm looking for. Because I saw this really nice ottoman that I loved at Home Goods in the other Home Goods, obviously. But it was like $150. I'm like, for an ottoman? I don't know. So, I'm gonna see what I can find on clearance because we still on a budget. And I spent a lot of money today, so I don't wanna spend too much more. But I'm still looking for a few things. 
Um, so right now I'm looking for like an accent rug. Actually, this might be perfect. Because I was looking for a rug to go in front of my mirror and this is literally perfect. Because like it has a little, little flair to it, but it's simple. I think this is it. Y'all, I forgot to grab a card though. I gotta go get a card. All right, perfect. Found an accent rug. Now I need a rug for my office. I was looking for like a round rug, but I think I'm just gonna get a regular one. Um, they have some cute ones here, but I don't know. No, these mirrors are so cute. Obviously they're like decorative mirrors, but it's giving me like Van Cleef vibes, but I think it's missing one. But I feel like I can make three of them work. Like, what is it, only $15? I don't know, I feel like I can make this work. Like, I feel like that could be really cute. So I have like this little wall area in the front um, room of my apartment. And I really wanted like a nice decorative cabinet that I could put and then put some mirrors. But I might have to wait until I get up there and like measure the space out so I can figure it out. But they have some really nice round mirrors. Like I saw one over here on clearance and it would be perfect for that. Like that cabinet I showed you guys when we first came in, like with this over it, I feel like it would be so freaking cute. And this is only $47. Like, I don't know. There's so many things I want, so many things I want to do. Wait a minute. Look at this freaking floor lamp. It is so cute. It's like gold and has these two big bulbs on it. Is it worth $69 though? I don't know it's really cute but i don't i don't think i need it all right so we left home goods because they were literally about to close but i ended up buying something i wasn't expecting to buy because i really wanted it but it was damaged but they were able to mark it down by like 75 dollars so i was like i have to get it so i'll show you guys when we get back to the house but now we're at target and i'm gonna see the stuff they have here again okay so i'm still looking for um a little organizer for my tea I need some other little stuff for the bathroom. I'm looking for a fan. Uh, I'm gonna wait to get the curtains when I measure the windows. And I just wanna see what other stuff I can find on sale because the other Target didn't have as much like decor stuff that I was looking for. I was gonna get the toaster from Walmart, but it, of course it sold out today. I, should, I knew I should have bought it. I should have just bought everything when I saw it. But I left it in my car, I waited, and now the only thing that sold out is the toaster. But I was able to get everything else I wanted, but I'm still mad about the toaster. I think all the pillows are also 20% um, off today. So I might get some pillows for the couch because for some reason I don't have pillows for the couch yet. Let me see what I can find because I feel like you can never find matching pillows at Target. Like they're never like a set. These are nice, but I don't want just like a gray pillow. The couch is already gray. No, it's like, that's a poof. That's not a pillow. I like it though. Yeah. No, I'm looking for like maybe green or teal because, no, not teal. Green. Maybe green because you know the bins that I have? A green would look nice. The bins are I don't green. know, I, just, I feel like instinctively I just go for pink stuff when it comes to you because that's what you always Now, want. no, now it's not mostly pink. It's just a little pop Just a little pink. A little touch. I feel like... I'm scared how much to calculate how much money I spent today. Yeah, well, you know, let's not worry about that. You oh, don't have to worry about them. it because you need pay for shit. I'm kidding. What? I didn't pay for anything today. You bought the the cabinet liners at Walmart and the tape measure. Thank you. <laughs> and then she bought the tape and measure. All right, guys. So we are officially back home for good. No more running around. It's almost 10:30 at night. Um, but yeah, we had a really good day, lots of fun, lots of shopping. I found like almost everything I was looking for today and I'm so happy with what I got. So let's just hop right into this haul. I would say this little haul, but it's really not a little haul. But let me just show you guys what I got overall. I know I showed you guys some things in the store and whatnot, but so <laughs> this boy keeps crying. Oh my God. Damn. Anyways, he's just mad because I've been gone all day. Sorry about all the background noise, y'all. The dryer and the cat screaming. But anyway, yeah, there's just way too much stuff for me to bring in my room and show you guys. So I'm just going to show you guys while it's out here. But let me show you guys what I bought today. I'm not going to go in any type of order. I'm just going to grab stuff. 
so first, one of the favorite things that I found today, I finally got my Casa Luna bed set. I've been wanting one of these for so long, but they're a little pricey, but they're very good quality. Um, I did a poll on my Instagram story about whether I should get like the cream or the white, but the cream colored comforter was more like a tan than a cream color. So I ended up just getting the white and it's really nice. So it's not really like minimalist vibes that I'm going for, but just like a little bit more clean looking and less clutter because clutter just drives me crazy. I don't know what it is. But I finally got my Casa Luna comforter. This is a full slash queen size. I got the linen blend comforter set. This is like, this is like the heavyweight comforter. They also have another one, but I really wanted one like this. So I'm glad that I found this. And like I said, it was 20% off all the bedding and stuff, um, bathroom stuff, pillows, blankets were 20% off at Target. And I think it ends today, unfortunately, but they're always doing sales, but I had to take advantage of this one. Another Casa Luna item that I got, which I didn't expect to buy because I really don't need bath towels. So that's why I only got two, but I just could not pass up on these. So these are the Casa Luna decorative waffle bath towels and they're pink. I said I wasn't gonna buy anything pink, but the color, the shade is just too perfect. Like this is my shade of pink. So I just had to get these and these towels are so soft, but I think these will just add like a nice pop of color to the bathroom since a lot of the stuff in my apartment is gonna be very neutral now, but I still want like little pops of color. I mean, the kitchen is not neutral at all. Like everything's sage green, but the rest of the apartment is very neutral. So I wanted like a little pop of color in the bathroom. So yeah, I'm really glad I got these. They're so soft. They almost feel like a blanket, really. Like they're such high quality. And again, 20% off. So if it's on sale and I like it, you know I'm gonna get it, whether I need it or not. All right, I'm actually gonna do all the Target stuff first before I go to like the other stores. Um, so I ended up getting new bath rugs because the ones I had in my bathroom were just pretty musty. And they were pink, like I said, I'm trying to tone it down on the colors. So what is this? This is the Threshold Performance Plus bath rug. It's like double-sided, but I like this side better because it matches the other rug that I got. So this side is just, I don't know how to describe this. And then the other side is like pretty fluffy. So I think I'm gonna keep it on this side. That's like a little bit more tan colored and less white. But you know, it's just a regular bath mat. Again, on sale. Um, I mostly just got this because I needed another one to match because I could only find one that I really liked. So I just like it. Let me just find a rug to match. Um, but this is the rug that I found that I really like. This is again, the Threshold brand. So this will obviously go up against the shower because it's like a half circle, but it's super cute. It's just, you know, I don't know. It's a half circle rug. I don't, it's nothing else. It's really not that special, but it has like the little fringe tassels on the side. So I thought that was a little something extra cute. And I think I also got the shower curtain to match. I don't know where the heck that is, but I'll find it. But yes, everything is gonna be pretty neutral with a little pop of pink and gold in the bathroom. Since the tiles in the bathroom are pink, so like the pink will be perfect in there with the pink towels and stuff. So yeah, I got two new bath rugs to go in the bathroom because we need bath rugs. That's just... I don't know. It's just apartment essentials. Like, I try not to buy too many unnecessary things, but it always happens. But I did get a lot of the essentials that I needed. But speaking of unnecessary things, I was influenced by Leah's face, and I was watching one of her vlogs, and she said that this kept her water cold forever. Like, I have so many Starbucks cups, which I think I'm gonna sell because I just do not need them all. And again, the clutter drives me crazy. I have too many. But. This is so freaking cute. This is the simple modern 40 ounce little cup, just like the Stanley cup, you know, like the big cup with the handle and the straw. That's like the new thing now. But this one's just so cute. It matches the neutral vibes I'm going for. I'm gonna need a nice cup to keep my water cold when I'm on campus all day long. And I don't know, it's just a cute water bottle. And like I said, I was very much influenced to buy this. So yeah, shout out to Aaliyah. I love watching her vlogs. So I had to get this because it's just too freaking cute and you know it's functional because i need like a real water bottle not just like these cutesy ones all right i think this up here is the last target bag but i also have those other things from target um so here's more of some little stuff i got so like i said when i was in the store i saw this zebo i saw this little bug insect whatever trap on tiktok and i heard that it actually works really well and like i said i had a huge problem with the little um, gnats from inside my plants. I'm not gonna have a lot of real plants this time because it's like I come back and forth so much from school So it doesn't make sense to have all these real plants, but the ones that I do have I'm gonna put in my sunroom. They're not gonna be in the actual apartment 
So I got this just in case because I'm tired of the freaking flies and bugs and stuff. And you know, I feel like just stuff like this is just good to have in general because bugs be coming in sometimes. It just happens. So this will be good to plug in near like one of the entrances. Um, and yeah, it's just like a little bug trap. And you turn the light on. You can actually see them. My mom bought one just now. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like back there, that little blue light by the coffee machine. That's the bug trap. So I'll keep it updated on whether it works well or not. But we've had some little flies and gnats coming in and out of here. So let's see what that thing is able to pick up. Some other little non-apartment stuff I got that I just needed were these little Mighty Patch invisible ones because I like to wear them to work sometimes because when I'm working 16 hours through the day, throughout the day, I'm just like, let me put on a pimple patch. I don't even care if anybody sees it because if I have a pimple, I wake up in the morning, I'm going to put it on there and leave it on until halfway through my shift. And if I need to put on another one, I'm going to put on another one. So I like wearing these little invisible ones so they're a little less noticeable, but you know, they work good. So I, I just keep buying them. And then I also got the little Mighty Patch Rescue Balm because I have this really bad pimple on my cheek and it's just like, it's going away like it's flat, but it just looks horrible. So I got this, um, the Hero Rescue Balm. It's like for post blemish recovery. And since it's summer, you know, we need to exfoliate even more. So I got this little Eco Tools um, little bath cloth just to help exfoliate better because I use like the exfoliators, but I mostly just use my hands to rub it on. So I feel like this will really help get even more dead skin off. So I just got this little cloth. But here is all the stuff that I needed for the shower. So first, I got this really nice shower curtain. Again, it's the Threshold brand. It matches the rugs very well. I was kind of debating on whether or not I wanted to get this because it is like a velvety texture, but I mean, it's made for the bathroom. So it should, it should hold up well, but it's really cute. It's like this white color, but it's not like crisp white, but like eggshell white. And it has like those little, what would you call it? It almost looks like a rainbow, but they're little velvet. That's what they're called. No, velvet. They're called scallops. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I can't even think straight. They're called scallops. They're little scalloped design. And it also, it kind of goes with the rug because you know the rug's like, you know, if you know what I mean, you know. But yeah, it kind of goes with the rug well. So I wanted to try this out and it feels very nice. Like I said, I think it'll elevate the bathroom very nicely. Cause like I said, you know, we got a low budget apartment but not low budget decorations. We gonna dress it up, okay? Um, and then I just got this cheap little shower curtain liner, $3 because like I said, you gotta change these things out every month or so. So I just get the little cheap ones and bam, put it on there and protect the shower curtain. Um, and then I also got these gold shower hooks. Like I said, I like these ones where it's like you hook each thing on one side instead of hooking them on the same thing because if you need to wash a shower curtain sometimes it's like annoying to take off the whole liner and then take off the curtain and have to put them both back on but if you have these ones with the double hook you can put them each on a different hook and it's easier to get them off you know and the last things i got from target i showed you guys what the pillows look like when they're not flat but these are the casa luna pillows to match the comforters like i said these are going to be like my base pillows on the bed and then i add the little decorative pillows as I go and you know every season I can change them out like say I want my room to have a little pop of green I can add some green pillows a little green throw blanket but say I want it to be pink I can add different stuff but I have a white comforter and these white pillows all year round so it's just you know it's the base when you add the decor on top so these are like my big base pillows and they're very big I got two of these again the same color as the comforter they're nice and fluffy and soft but I bought the ones that were vacuum sealed still because I'm like okay Nobody's touched these, they're not open, they're gonna be perfectly clean. And when I have to move everything up, they I won't have to worry about them getting dirty. So I'm glad that I found them like this because the other Target we just went to did not have any like this. So I'm just glad I found these and everything is just working out perfectly, like it always does, which is why I try not to stress because everything always works out. And that's that. Let me show you guys what I got at TJ Maxx. So I like having a little shower mat in my shower just so I don't slip and crack my skull open because I have slipped and fallen in the shower before and it is not fun. So I got this little cute bath mat. This one's really nice. Like usually you see like the little ugly cheap ones, but this one almost looks like pebbled stone and again, nice and neutral. So it'll go and you know, it's just a little bath mat. It was only $6.99 and I'll probably have to switch it out in a few months, but so if you're one of those girls that like to take things out of their original packaging and put them in a different packaging, that's me too. I love taking things like, say I buy a box of crackers or a box of cereal, right? I'm taking things out of the box they came in from the grocery store and I'm putting them in a clear container. That is just me. I know it's controversial. Some people are like, oh, that's stupid. Oh, that No, 
we're going for aesthetics okay i need everything to be aesthetic and that's just how it needs to be for me so i already have clear bottles for my juice which i got from ikea ikea is just like notorious for having the most aesthetic kitchen things they have so many different glass bottles and jars you can put stuff in but i have never seen this before like i've literally never seen this i don't even think i've seen it on tiktok before y'all have probably seen it but i've never seen it it's like this little milk carton but it's clear and it's so freaking cute like i have all my juices and like my little pressed juice shots and stuff and cute bottles but my milk my oat milk is always in the same damn carton but now i have a carton to match and i'm so excited like it's really the little things that just make me so happy so like it's just gonna make my fridge look so much better the next few things which are not necessities but i got them like i said i love going to tj maxx to get these little van cleef dupes because i love the van cleef look but we don't have the van cleef budget just yet i ended up getting this little bracelet to match it's just a little it has like three of the little motifs on it i don't know if you can see it it has like the three little motifs on it like a big one and then two little ones and it goes so freaking cute with my little permanent bracelet anyways i also got the little van cleef anklet i know van cleef don't make no damn anklets but tj maxx do tj maxx do so you know i had to get the little matching anklet to go with my necklace and my bracelet so this is perfect for the summer it's gonna look so cute i'm gonna wear this tomorrow but yeah the bracelet i think was 30 dollars and this anklet was $24.99. A little pricey, but they do last. Like this necklace has lasted me so long. Another thing that I didn't really need, but like kind of needed was these little dermaplaners. This one is by the Kish brand, which I really like. You can get these at Ulta, but they had them at TJ Maxx for $6.99. So I'm like, yeah, let me just get them. I use these to shave my mustache and I like the disposable ones because you know, you use them once and you throw them out because you don't want to be re reusing razors, on, especially on your face. Cause I feel like that'll make you break out real bad. This was definitely a little unnecessary, but we got it now um these are these little glass jars i might put my tea in these actually or i don't know i'll find something to put in these but i'll put these on my little pantry shelf in my kitchen they're just these really cute glass jars with a little wooden lid like i said these be so expensive on amazon for no reason at all i think because they're trendy now like they're so expensive on amazon like this would be like 20 to 30 dollars at amazon but they were 7.99 at tj maxx oh another thing i got at tj maxx was this super cute little fake eucalyptus in the pot i really wanted the white one but i'm like let me switch it up a little bit and now that i see this with this new thing i bought i'm gonna show y'all that in a second but this is just so freaking cute oh my god i'm so glad i didn't get the white one because it just adds like a little a little pop i wouldn't say a pop of color because it's literally tan it's like there's no color to it really but it just looks really nice and aesthetic that's what i'm going for i don't know if i showed you guys when we went to marshall's but we did go into marshall's um, and I did find a few cute things. I really needed some new kitchen mitts because the ones I had up there were really musty. So I just got these little tan Cuisinart kitchen mitts. These were $6.99. I feel like little stuff like this I always get at Marshall, the TJ Maxx or Home Goods because they always just have it for so cheap. Just wait, be patient, man. No? Anyways, this cat is crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, this next thing I found is so freaking cute. Definitely not a necessity, but um, y'all, look at how pretty this is. I'm so proud of myself. I only bought like a few pink things today. This had to be one of them because oh my god, this thing is so pretty. So if you don't know what this is, this is a carafe. You know, it's like a little nightstand water holder. So you put your water in. And right here is the little cup because I always need to have some water by my bedside. And like I drink water bottles at home because we buy water bottles for the household. But when I'm at my apartment, I do not buy water bottles. I have a Brita filter. So it's like, it's annoying to always have like an open cup by the bedside. I don't like that because you never know what can get in that cup, okay? So I got this really freaking pretty craft. Like it's giving me Urban Outfitters vibes. Like the way it looks, it's so freaking pretty. And you know, it's like really high quality glass. It just looks so nice, you know? It's the middle of the night, you pour yourself a nice little cup of water. It's just too perfect. I had to get it. It's, you know when you see something in the store and you're like, I need that. Like, no thoughts at all. You look at it and you need it. That, this, that's what this did to me. And this was $9.99. That's not too bad. And the last thing I got at Marshall's was these really nice white velvet hangers. Y'all, I find so many of these hangers, but they always have a silver little hook. But I finally found one with the gold hook and I'm so glad that they're like this cream color 
because they just look so nice because I have like um, you know I have like that wardrobe in my bedroom so obviously I'll put all my clothes and stuff in there but I do also have that clothing rack in my little office slash beauty area so these are gonna look so nice on there because again we're going for the neutral vibes so it's just gonna look really good on the clothing rack and I'll put like all my like color coordinated clothes on there it's just gonna look so nice so I definitely had to pick these up and for 35 hangers it was only $14.99 are you kidding me? These would have been so expensive at Target. Like, I love me some Target, but some of their prices are a little crazy. So, for 35 hangers, $15 is literally a steal. Especially for the velvet hangers. Like, these are really high quality, nice hangers. So, I just had to get these, and I'm glad I did. All right, before we move on to the big stuff, last of the little stuff, this is just stuff I got at Walmart. Very boring, very, you know, whatever. I had to get these little cabinet liners for the kitchen cabinets, obviously, because I'm not just going to put my stuff up there in bare, touching the freaking thing. So, no. So, I did buy some when we went up there. I bought, like, two rolls. If you saw, like, the last moving vlog I did when me and Michelle were in the kitchen, I was like, okay, I need two of them. And that was not enough to cover all the drawers and all the cabinets. So, I got a big jumbo roll and another little roll just in case it's not enough. And then I got a measuring tape because I lost mine during the move upstairs. I don't know how. But I got a new one, so it is what it is. All right, so you guys saw some of the big things that I got. So the first big item that I bought was a trash can. Now, not saying I don't have a trash can, but is it aesthetic? No. We're getting rid of that little busted plastic Walmart trash can I got at that apartment, and we upgraded to the Martha Stewart. Yes, ma'am. I found this at the Home Goods, and did I want to spend eighty dollars on the garbage? No, but I didn't because, like I said, I had those gift cards, and it literally took off like almost sixty dollars. So I paid what? I paid twenty dollars for this super nice metal trash can, and it's cream colored. I did not want a black or stainless steel trash can because if I had stainless steel appliances, it would have made sense to get a stainless steel trash can. But since we got the white appliances, the starter appliances. We gotta get the garbage can to match. I already kind of showed you guys, it's the rug from Ollie's. It's just a cream colored rug and it was only $34.99. So yeah, I'm really glad that I found that. That's gonna look so good in my bedroom. It matches the whole bed set and everything perfectly. So yeah, I'll show you guys that when it's all spread out and set up in the bedroom at the apartment. And then just now we went to Home Goods. Like I said, I found this perfect little throw rug to go in my little mirror area because I have that big gold mirror and then I have like my little fake plant over there. So I wanted like a nice accent rug and this is gonna look good in that little hallway area by like the storage room. Um, so yeah, this is just like a little Tahari rug from Home Goods. It has the little scalloped edges. I've noticed there's like a big theme in the scallops for some reason, but it just looks really nice and it's, it's simple. Other thing I found at Home Goods was these super cute little mirrors and it is missing one, but it was on clearance for literally $15. Like, look, you're supposed to set it up like this. I don't really like it like that. I think it'll look good, like kind of set up in some kind of pattern with these three. Um, and I'm gonna put it above that thing, but this is gonna look really cute. But the thing that caught my attention the most is that they look like the little Van Cleef motif. That's why I love it. It looks so freaking cute. So I'm gonna have these little Van Cleef things on the wall and it's just really gonna elevate the space and look really nice. The last big thing that I bought today, which I did not expect to buy until I kind of talked to the manager at Home Goods, was this super freaking cute cabinet, y'all. Let me bring y'all a little closer to show you this, because this is just, oh my god, it's literally everything I wanted and more. So as you guys can see, it's like this almost like nude gold, tan gold, I can't really describe it that well. I'm bad at describing colors. But it's very neutral, very aesthetic. Like this, it's exactly the vibe I'm going for. Like it just matches the vibes perfectly. And it has this really nice marble top and it's like really good quality. Like this thing is heavy, y'all. So the original price of this, it should be inside. So yeah, as you can see, it's kind of like, I don't know what the hell you would call this. Like, uh, I don't know. But it has like one shelf. I could fit a lot of stuff in here. So this is going to be perfect for storage. Like I said, I'm going to put it in that little hallway area by the kitchen. And then I'm going to have like a cute little plant on top. Maybe even this one. But I can store a lot of stuff in here. Like my extra candles or whatever. Extra decor. But the reason I wasn't expecting to buy it is one. I think the original price was like $250. Which I was not paying. But as you can see, it's very damaged in here on the doors. Like there's lots of cracks by where the... um 
nails are and it's on both sides so i'm like mm, but it still functions perfectly like the handles are not affected at all and it still looks like so good on the outside like nothing's wrong on the outside it's just those little cracks on the handles but yeah it just looks really freaking good and like i said the original price was 250 i talked to the girl i'm like listen i have a question about this piece of furniture can you come over here she comes over i show her i'm like oh it's broken she's like oh okay let me get the manager she called the manager over first of all it's some british man what is a british man doing managing the home goods i don't know but he was very nice he looked at it he was like yeah we had another one but i guess it sold or whatever and I'm like, okay, well, I want this one. And he's like, oh, okay, so this is, we didn't really know the damage when we put it out, blah, 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 somebody pointed it out, whatever. So yeah, originally he was like, okay, I can do it for like $50 off. I'll give it to you for $200. And he's like pointing out all the damages and stuff, whatnot. And I'm like, mm, you know, could you do a little less than $200? Like, are you able to do less? Cause it's like, it's really cracked. I'm like, it's, I'm pointing it out. I'm like, yeah, it's really cracked. Can you do a little less? He was, he's looking at his phone while he's calculating something. He wasn't doing shit on that phone. He wasn't doing nothing on that phone. He was just looking at it for fun. He wasn't calculating nothing. But then he was like, okay, I could do for 175. And I'm like, all right, I'll think about it. Meanwhile, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting this. For 175, I'm buying this. Everything just worked out perfectly. I'm so freaking glad we went over to Home Goods. I'm like, it's late, but I just had this urge. I'm like, yeah, I want to check out the other Home Goods. And I'm glad I did. That's why I always listen to my gut. But yeah, that's pretty much it that I bought today. But like I said, two things came in from Amazon. Um, one of them, let me move you guys over. One of them being the bed. I got, it's just a metal frame, y'all. It really ain't nothing special. I was going to buy a little wooden bed, which depending on what this looks like, I might end up buying the wooden bed. I'm not sure yet, but I just wanted something simple because if you guys don't know, I have that big, heavy duty Ikea bed with the storage underneath. And when I tell you guys that thing cannot be moved at all. So I'm like, okay, I'm only going to be in this apartment for about two years. So I just need something quick and simple I can throw up and I can get my own little storage to put underneath it. But this is just a simple white metal bed frame. I will put a picture of it right here so you guys can get kind of an idea of what it looks like. And then in this huge box is my new vanity mirror, which I'm so excited about. I've never had like a big, nice vanity mirror with the lights. And I really wanted the ones with the little bulbs on the side, you know, the ones you always see, like the Hollywood vanity mirror. But I'm just like, you know, I feel like it's a little played out. I don't really want that. I want something a little more sleek looking. And I found this one, y'all. Let me show you what it looks like. Oh, wow. This is a very big mirror. Okay, I'm not gonna rip it out the plastic right now. We gonna kick that on for now. But you get an idea of what it looks like. It's very nice. As you can see, all the edges around here light up, but this is exactly what I wanted. A nice big mirror and it's gonna look really cute. It has a little stand that goes in the bottom. So I'm very excited about this. It's gonna look really cute. Um, yeah, let me get this thing back in the box because I'm not trying to break it and it is a mess in here. I gotta put all the stuff back where it goes. All right, guys, so that is the entire haul for now. Like I said, we have a ton of stuff still coming in the mail. So we will unbox that as things come in. But yes, that is everything that I bought today. I got a ton of things, but I crossed a lot of stuff off my list that I needed so that when we go up next weekend, I can go up to my apartment. Um, declutter a bit organize everything and put all this new stuff in there and i'm just like i said so freaking excited to see everything come together but before i end this vlog i want to talk to you guys about my first ever giveaway if you saw my last vlog you will know what the giveaway is all about and why we're doing a giveaway but if you didn't basically when i did my amazon haul they sent me extra stuff that i did not order i ordered a tripod for my camera like the little um gorilla tripod and instead of sending me one they sent me a pack of four a freaking whole bunch of them and i'm like somebody messed up in the amazon warehouse but that ain't my problem but i decided that i'm gonna give away two of the extra joby gorilla pods if you are a content creator you know these are like the best tripods you can use for vlogging like especially when you're walking around like i even use mine today and i'm just so obsessed with this tripod it works so perfectly for vlogging out in public and stuff especially if you shop a lot like me strap this thing up to the target car and push your thing around 
So I will be giving away two of these to you guys who are fellow content creators or if you just, you know, like to take videos for yourself and whatnot. This is a very good tripod and you could also buy the little iPhone extension on Amazon. This is just the tripod itself. It doesn't come with the little iPhone attachment, but if you make videos on your phone as well, you can buy that and attach it to this. And I wanted to wait till I got to a thousand subscribers before I did a full giveaway, but I'm like, why wait? I'm just going to give these away now to my fellow content creators. And for my people who are not content creators, don't worry. I will be doing a giveaway in the future when I do get to a thousand subscribers. So make sure you share, like, comment, and everything so I can help my channel grow. So if you are a content creator and you want to enter this giveaway, all you need to do is comment down below what your favorite platform is to create content, whether you're a TikToker or you're a YouTuber, you're a vlogger, whatever. Comment down below what platform you create content on and all you have to do is subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on TikTok, and follow me on Instagram. Yeah, all you have to do is follow me on my top three platforms and that's all you gotta do and you comment down below and that's it and you'll be entered into the giveaway. My username is literally the same on every single platform you can think of. Twitter, threads, here, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest. It's the same thing everywhere. Um, and once you've done that, again, comment down below that you completed those things and why you like being a content creator, what's your favorite content, whatever. Anything along the lines of content creating, if you're a content creator. Like I said, you don't necessarily have to be a content creator to enter the giveaway. You know, leave a comment down below why you wanna win these or whatever and just follow me on those three things. That's literally it. Again, I will have the instructions down below. Um, and I think I'll have the giveaway last a full week until my next vlog. So this giveaway will have started on Sunday, July 23rd when you guys are watching this video. And the giveaway will end next Sunday, July 30th when I post my next vlog. So on my next vlog, next Sunday, I will be announcing the two winners. So make sure you enter the giveaway and make sure you share this video in my channel so that again, I can grow to a thousand subscribers and I can do a giveaway for everybody. I won't tell you guys exactly what I will be giving away, but I already kind of have an idea of what I want to give away. It'll be something for everybody and anybody. So stay tuned for that. My channel is still growing, but we are slowly but surely getting there. But it is now almost 11.30 p.m. and I am very tired. It's been a long day. This boy is yelling at me. I got to get to my son before he gets even more upset. You know, I'm a cat mom. Got to take care of my kid. So yes, that is the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I always have so much fun like vlogging me shopping, especially because it's my favorite thing to do. So it's my favorite thing to vlog. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this little apartment shopping video and I hope you guys enjoyed the haul. There are many more apartment decor essential hauls coming very soon. So stay tuned for that. And yes, the next vlog will be me moving all of this stuff into my apartment and cleaning up the apartment, setting it up. So you guys will see some more of that next Sunday. That is all for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this and thank you so much for watching. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.